everybody, Krupa here. In this short video, we're going to quickly look at how to debug Apache Cordova apps that target Windows Phone 8.1. So historically, with the Visual Studio tools for Apache Cordova releases, we've supported debugging to Android 4.4, older versions of Android via JS Highbugger, iOS 6, 7, and 8, and the store versions of Windows 8 and 8.1. Now, with our latest release, you can now debug your Cordova apps that target Windows Phone 8.1. So let me bring up Visual Studio and show you very quickly how all of this works. So I have a simple application here that I've already created, and let me just run it in the emulator to show you what's going on. So make sure you have Windows Phone Universal selected as your platform, and go ahead and either choose a device or an emulator if you don't have a device currently tethered to your machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play and my application will launch in a few moments. So what this app does is pretty simple. There's a button called Change Color. When I click on the Change Color button, the background of the application should change. So I'm gonna click this button right now, and currently, nothing is really happening. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take a look at our code and try to see what's going on. So the code is pretty simple. I'm currently listening for a click event on our button, and when the click event is overheard, the Change Color event handler gets called, and this event handler calls a function called getRandomColor that returns a color value that is assigned to the background of our body element by setting the inline background color style. So to figure out what's going on, let me go ahead and set a breakpoint right here and just see if the button click is actually being properly registered. So let me run my application one more time. So it should be loading again. It takes a few moments. And this time around, I'm gonna go and click the change color button again. And when I click this button, this time the breakpoint that I've set on the event handler gets hit. So clearly our event handler code is being called. Let me set another breakpoint to make sure that the code at the end seems to work fine. So let me go ahead and continue from where I am right now, and our code will hit this area right here. So the hex color value is the variable that determines what I ultimately return. So hex r, hex g, and hex b all have their values properly defined. Let me step into the next line to see what's going on. So the value of hex color is a hex value, but there's something wrong about this. In order for colors to be recognized properly by CSS, they can't just be in raw hexadecimal form. They need to have the pound sign directly in front of it. So let me go ahead and fix that by going ahead and adding the string for the pound sign in line. Hex color, just add the plus sign, and now we should be good to go. Let me just restart the application one more time. And loading. Let me hit change color. The breakpoint gets hit again. Let me just go and clear the breakpoints and just hit continue. And this time around, when I hit change color, the color properly changes. All right, so if you want to give all of this a shot, go ahead and download the extension from ak.ms slash Cordova. And if you have any questions along the way, you have many ways to contact us. Contact us via Stack Overflow. Make sure to use the VS Cordova tag. Twitter, or you can email us directly at vscordovatools at microsoft.com. Also, if you want to contact me directly, just send me an email to krupac at microsoft.com or send me a tweet at krupa. All right, I will see you all next time.